here are my materials. I have uh, some bleach, um, measuring spoons, because you know, we want to measure stuff, food coloring, three glasses, and a measuring cup full of water. Now I'm adding the water to the glasses. Gotta be consistent. Get it down, look at that level. Is it the same? Let's check. Nope, not quite the same. Now it's the same. Moving on to the third one. Oh, 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 there we go. Okay, I have my three glasses filled with the same exact amount and temperature of water. Time to add in the food coloring. I'm gonna use green. Have to be consistent. Use the same amount of drops of food coloring for each glass. One, two, three, four. I made that number up. I don't know if four works or not, but it's a good place to start. Let's do the rest. This is blue, not green. Definitely thought it was green food coloring. Now I'm going to measure out the bleach. I'm going to use a tablespoon just because it's easy and I can measure it accurately. I'm going to put a tablespoon of bleach into the first cup. I'm changing the concentration of the bleach in my reaction. So once I add this, I'm actually going to set my timer and I'm going to see how fast um, the color is affected by the bleach. Here we go. didn't work. I wanted to see a measurable change and although there was a change from greenish blue to blue it still really wasn't what I was looking for and that's what happens in science. So now we're back at the add it again. Now we have new water. I'm gonna try orange and see if that makes a difference. Instead of four drops I'm only gonna go with two this time. I think that maybe the amount of dye was just too much um, for the uh, bleach to really take effect. Time to add the bleach to number one. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of bleach to the second one, so I'm gonna measure it out ahead of time. So that way, as soon as I dump it in, I can start timing. Number two. To the third one, three tablespoons of bleach. Again, measuring out it ahead of time so I can just dump it all in. I think it's weird how the, um, the orange actually gets a little bit darker at first, and then it seems to get lighter and then turn clear. I don't know why it does that. Number three. All right, now it comes time for that pesky data table. What are we gonna write a data table about? What are we supposed to write down? How do we make a format for it? So let's go back to what the reaction actually was. We mixed food dye and bleach, and we had the reaction happen, and we measured the time. Um, so that's what we were looking at. So what did we keep the same? The food dye was the same each time. What did we change? The bleach. So here is your controlled variable. Here is your independent variable. That's what you were in control of, this guy here. And then what did we measure? Time. That's the dependent variable. So our data table is going to be really simple. We're just going to take our independent variable, the thing that we changed, and we're going to list how we changed it down the side. So what did I do? I measured one tablespoon of bleach first, and then two tablespoons of bleach second, and three tablespoons of bleach third. Now that changed, and how did we measure the reaction based on the changing concentrations? We measured the time in seconds, and that is your whole data table. Done. Now here's my actual data. What does this data say? Well, generally it says that the more bleach we have, the shorter the time it takes, although these two are the same. So thinking back as to what mistakes I made with this, I stirred this one, 
and that maybe sped up the reaction and I shouldn't have done that. So if I was doing real science here instead of just kitchen science, I would go back and redo this again and retime it to make sure that um, I had accurate data. In fact, I would do this whole thing all over again and maybe um, take a couple of different trials of this to see if my data is accurate. But because I'm doing kitchen science, I'm not gonna do all that and all I'm gonna ask you to do is tell me the relationship, which is as you increase the amount of bleach, you decrease the amount of time the reaction takes to happen. Good luck with your reactions. I can't wait to see your videos. Let me know if you've got questions.